Hello guys, how you guys doing? Azure Edge Media here, presenting my Let's Play of Tales of Asperia Part 4. So last time we left off, we were leaving Dayton Hold after the attack from the, mon the Giganto monster and his horde of monsters. And we learned about weapon skills. Today we'll be entering the Koi Woods, see what's in there. Now, um, I think there's only a few monsters in here we need to lens. Other than that, there's not much. But let's go. Will this forest really get us to the other side of the hold? If it doesn't, we'll just come back. But what if I get turned into a frog or a snake by the forest's curse? If that happens, I'll take care of you. You'll... take care of me? Of course I would. Don't worry. I had pet frogs and snakes when I was a kid. If you got turned into a frog or a snake, Yuri, I wouldn't have any idea what to feed you. How about the fact he didn't even think about trying to change you back into a girl? She's only thinking about, oh, if he turns into a frog, what do I feed him? I'm like, really? Yes, as you can see in my fighting style, I tend to spam Azure Edge. Though, like I said, it's because I'm trying to learn the new skill. And, um, you need to use... Azure Edge a lot because it unlocks one of my favorite skills that does a lot of damage when you get one of the weapons in the game called the Devil's Arm it does a lot of damage it, sh it shoots out two blasts and I think the first one does like 8,000 damage and the next one does like Nine nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. It does a big hit to bosses. And um as you can see this forest is full of monsters, though a lot of them you don't need to lens. There's only like two monsters you need to lens. And as you can see, Repeat just stole something from one of the enemies. That's his skill. He's the thief in the party, so there's gonna be a time you do need to really get into stealing. Though right now it's not that important. If you steal something, that's cool, but other than that, you don't really need anything. Um. Man, these little birds. And because I'm playing on hard mode, I've noticed that I take a lot of hits. And we tend to use a lot of um, TP too. Because to damage the enemies, it does take a lot of arts. And I also forgot, I need to change that on repeat. In your party menu, you need to change what your party members do. And repeat tends to spam items. Monsters are easier to beat than I thought. Isn't that better than being harder than you thought? But I feel sorry for them. You're way too nice. I don't particularly enjoy being someone else's dinner. You're right. This is different from inside the castle. The strong eat the weak. Well, we're not going to be eating any of these monsters. I... I won't hesitate to defeat any monsters. But I will never forget what I fought or where I fought it. Well, suit yourself, I guess. Then, when I return to the capital, I will make graves in memory of all the monsters I've killed. I... uh... I guess you could do that. I don't understand this girl at all. 
Well, if you're the type of person who uses a spell a lot and kills a lot of monsters for her devil arm to hit, to get the hit points at 9, 9, 9, 9, um, yeah, she's going to have to bury a lot of monsters. Because that's the thing, the devil arms grow stronger with the, um, the amount of monsters you've killed. Yuri's always the first one on my party to reach that. Then my second person that always reaches that is Rita, I think. We'll meet Rita soon. Did you hear something? My feet feel cold all of a sudden. Oh no, is this the curse? What sort of curse is it supposed to be anyway? The voices of corpses buried beneath the trees creep up and lure us to our doom. Oh, brother. What's that? What's it doing in a place like this? Let's take a break. I I'm all right. Huh? It's one of those moments with kids. Why are you touching so stuff? Stop touching things. That's bitter. You all right? Oh, my head feels a little... I'll be fine. What happened to me? You just fell over all of a sudden. Don't you remember? Perhaps it was the air that made me dizzy. There. That's sort of like the fuel that powers the Blastia, right? I heard that even though we can't see it, it's scattered through the atmosphere. Yes, that's air. I read once that dense air can have negative effects on people. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe that's what started the rumor of the curse. Hey, you only just woke up. You should rest a bit more. But I can't. If we don't catch up with Flynn soon... What if you collapse again and this time you're out for the whole night? You're right. I'm sorry. I like how he hands her the nasty fruit. He's like, here, eat this. Stop touching. Huh. I suppose we'll never get full trying to eat these. It's delicious. Why are you lying? Hold on a sec. I can make something simple. You can cook, Yuri? I'm not exactly a royal chef. I just have a few recipes I learned growing up. I'm not sure you can call this cooking. Aren't you worried at all that Flynn is in danger? Huh? Does it look that way? Well, yes. Honestly, I'm not worried about him. He's always managed to take care of himself. Actually, it's the guys who are after him I feel sorry for. What do you mean? Ever since we were kids, I've never been able to beat Flynn at anything. Swords, racing, whatever. After he'd won, he'd always have the nerve to say, You all right, Yuri? <laughs> that 
must be nice. I've never had anyone like that in my life. You can count yourself lucky. Well, dinner's ready. <laughs> Sandwiches. That's definitely cooking, Yuri. Thank you for the meal. Uh, it wasn't anything special. Though then again, it's I cooking it was eggs. Very tasty. I can't imagine being able to cook anything myself. It's just like using a sword or magic. You've got to learn it by doing it. You just need to practice with a few recipes. You'll be cooking before you know it. Practice with recipes? Here, I'll show you how it's done. Watch. Cooking clears your mind, and it's great for regaining lost energy. Cooking has a lot of other effects as well. This is pretty much everything I know how to cook right now. So, in order to make a sandwich, you'll need bread and an egg. Which we just happen to have right here. After choosing the ingredients, it's time to cook. And, there you are. A delicious meal. You're so good at that. I'm not sure I'd be able to get that good at cooking. Well, it comes more naturally to some people than others. Just because you have a recipe doesn't mean it'll always turn out like you think. Really? So you can mess it up? Well, you usually taste your food while cooking, but some people don't. Tasting? You know, like when cooks taste the food they make? Well, you're a sheltered little princess who's lived her life in a castle. It's only normal. Sheltered little princess? I suppose so. What is it, Repeat? Well, shall we be going? So yeah, your first recipe. Repeat, when I passed out, you lay down and made the nicest pillow for me. Thank you very much. What are you doing? I'm, um, thanking Repeat. Repeat? He's not here. Huh? What? Maybe he doesn't like me. Nah, he acts like that with just about everybody. Well then, I'll just have to keep trying until he accepts me. Yeah, he just walked off on her. He was like, yeah, okay. Um, there's a hidden item here. There it goes. Damn, press wrong button. Um, yeah, your first recipe is a sandwich. And you can keep cooking it with everyone, even repeat. You need to get it to five stars because you need all the recipes maxed out to do a side quest later on in the game. Um, through this whole video, I bet you I'm going to forget to cook. We can't seem to find our way through this forest at all. Oh, could this be the curse? What should we do, Yuri? There really was a curse after all. Don't be stupid. Or, do you not have a good sense of direction? No, of course I do. I think. Then maybe it's my fault. What should we do? They say no medicine can cure a fool, but I wish something could cure a bad sense of direction. <laughs> Repeat is like, yo, these two are annoying the hell out of me. Like, really? This looks easy. Don't get careless. And, um, so yeah, the whole cooking thing, you make the sandwich with eggs. So I guess it's cooking, but anyway. Um, yeah. So, it's not one time and you're done. It's a few times and you're done. And you get one star, and then two stars, and then etc, etc. And you can fail at cooking. It could go wrong and backfire. Pre prepare to die, Egg Bear!
warning you, I don't taste very good. You'll get the runs. <clears throat> oh my gosh, S somebody help me! Ah! Is this kid for real? It's all right now. Huh? The... Oh, brother, this should be interesting. Yeah, I'm sorry, I skipped that I'm part. I'm Carol Capel. I'm a member of the Hunting Blades Guild. We travel the globe in search of the toughest monsters. He said that the the monster turned into a girl. I'm Yuri. This is Estelle, and you've met Repeat already. Anyway, nice to meet you. What? Yuri, wait! My apologies. Huh? Hey, wait up! Where are you guys going? You guys are here to enter the woods, right? Well then, I'll... Actually, we've just finished coming through the woods and we're on our way to Halur. No way! You guys made it through the cursed woods? Of course, buddy. Did you guys run into any egg bears? Do you know what he's talking about, Yuri? Nope. I don't think we've seen any. Man. I wonder if I should head back to town then. They definitely won't like it if I keep them waiting. All right. I'm not sure you two would make it on your own, but never fear. The star member of the Hunting Blades will be your escort. See that? I've even got my own Blastia! What? You guys both have one too? Uh. Yep. It has information about monsters. Hmm? After a certain point, all the pages are blank. That's because I'm gonna fill it up with piles of monsters after this. Yeah, I skipped another part. Carol gets on my nerves. Hey, wait! Who said you could just ride in there? He said, it check this your out. star member status if it got out that you broke your sword. Oh, that? I had to give myself some kind of handicap, or else it wouldn't have been a fair fight. Hey, that's actually not too bad. Yo! Do you guys even know where you're going? Halor's to the north, once you get out of the woods! Come on, guys! Wait for me! Yeah, he's a permanent party member. I don't understand Repeat. He's a dog with claws and fangs, but he uses weapons? <laughs> yeah, I guess dogs do usually fight with claws and fangs. Huh? But Repeat's a dog, isn't he? <laughs> repeat is Repeat. What does that mean? Whatever he is, Repeat doesn't think of himself as a dog. That's why he uses weapons and items. But that's not to say that he thinks of himself as a human either. I don't really understand, but he seems very proud. Yep, so show him some respect. Hey, Yuri, are you translating what Repeat's saying? Nah, it's just your imagination. <laughs> so yeah, Carol's permanent. And... Yeah, through the beginning, he's kind of annoying. Later on, I think he gets better. But, um, yeah, and as you can see, Rapide just answered a lot of questions of why he uses a weapon. And somehow Yuri can translate, even though he's acting like he can't. But I think he understands Rapide. Ah, and here goes our friend that we've met on the bridge. And look at the sword he has. The one I mentioned in video one about the statue with the sword. So something important is going on with him. And that sword. Yeah, I initiated this battle because um when you step certain skits don't happen unless you initiate the battle and you can miss them
And yeah, you see the broken sword he has? That's his first weapon. But make sure you keep it because later on you get to change it into a the first weapon it originally was. Having friends to talk to really makes traveling a lot more fun. When I'm by myself, I get a little scared. Uh, I mean, bored. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hey, Carol, there's a monster behind you. What? Oh, my mistake. I must be seeing things. D don't do that. Our trip just got more lively. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. That was my door. Um, we're heading into Halor right now. Halor, the city of blossoms. Yeah, that's right. Don't they have a barrier here? Yes, there should be. You guys haven't been to Halor before, right? So then you haven't heard about the tree barrier. Tree barrier? Some Blastia fuse to plant life gain organic qualities and evolve. The tree barrier of Halor is one prime example of this. I read that in a book. Well, thank you, Professor. So what's happened to this famous barrier? Doesn't look like it's doing much right now. Every year, just before the blossoms are in full bloom, the barrier weakens for a while. It's just that time of year right now, and the monsters took the opportunity to attack. Is that when the barrier went down? Yeah, the monsters were taken care of, but the tree is slowly starting to decay. Hey! Wh what is it? Sorry, I gotta run! Bye! Does that kid ever sit still? So I guess you'll be looking for Flynn now, huh, Estelle? Doesn't she know we need to keep a low profile? And what happened to looking for Flynn? Yeah, everyone in the party runs off. But, um, I'm gonna look for a save point. I think we should leave it here, guys. So, this is Azure Edge Media signing out. If you liked the video, like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to make this channel grow. Alright, see you guys later.